Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek, of the Honorable Clan Brockfar. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. Hey guys, we are here for the 117th Let's Play. We're going to kick some butt, take some names. Let me adjust my mic here. Hopefully that won't kill us. So we are at a Jell Alert level 5. I can hear him in the bedroom listening to YouTube Let's Plays. Hopefully he goes back to sleep because it's a little bit early for him and he hasn't quite left for the airport yet. So let's look around. The cats are going crazy. We're going to do Read the Unsent Letter. Oh wait, there's stuff here? Wait a minute. Whoa, okay. Oh, I get to collect stuff off the Neckers? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And Shadow just crawled across the back of the couch where I'm sitting. She never comes out. She totally doesn't like us. So I'm wondering what that was about. So let's look at the quests. Oh, wrong one. I always pick that one. Let's go. I know I'm on the quest currently. I think we're going to do the treasure hunt, the pearl, pearls of the coast. So what we need to do first thing is read the letter. Let's end the cats are fighting. Oh my God. Where is the letter? Unsent letter. Leaf, go round up a few pearl divers and bring them here, but good ones this time. Those turds we brought in from Spike Rogue drowned before they could be of any use. I don't know, maybe the ship really has sunk too deep for any man to pull anything out of it, but it's worth a try. From what survivors say, it was carrying a mighty hefty load of silver. Oh, you know, I think maybe the treasure. I don't want to go digging. That's not going to be a good let's play, and I'm not really... So let's go back to the quest, then. Let's select the next quest on either the Witcher Contract or the Secondary, whatever has a lower level. So we have an 18, and a 20, and a 22. Now let's go up to, I suspect it'll be a secondary quest we have to go to, because I saw some 17s there. Ooh, Possession. Or Lord of Unvik. Let's go to Possession. I think we'll try that one. Okay, ask Alderic where Cersei is. Cersei is? is? Concern filled Croc's voice, and something else, Pride? The Jarl had pulled the Grawl aside during King Bran's wake to confess his worries about his daughter. Ceres, she'd sailed to Spikerug, seeking to cure Jarl Uldric's mysterious affliction. A dangerous mission, though one that would certainly be less so with the Witcher's help. Grawl eyed his old friend over carefully and then made his decision. Let's go do this guy. So, we're going to head out of here and I will see you at the next point. Except I can't go out that way. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, we're hitting a town or something. What is this? I'm suspecting I need to get off you, Roach. That's not going to work. So let's go looking around. We're going to figure out what we're doing here. Ooh, hey. Okay, there has got to be a fast travel post somewhere around here, guys. Somewhere around here. Let me go take a look. Okay, I guess it's way up here at the top. So we'll just go up way up here to the top. And see if we can find it. Oh, here. There's a notice board, too. Let's go look at the notice board. We haven't looked at a notice board in a while. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Herbs for sheep plague. The sheep in our island are dying. And I'm sure to work at Clan Dimon. God damn them. I don't want to lose your flock. If you don't want to use your flock, you need to buy my special brew of herbs and give it to your sheep. It'll keep the plague at bay. Prayer for the departed. People of Clan Drummond. Lars de Fox Longship was sunk near the Nilfgaardian shore. The whole crew perished. Let us pray to the gods. This will both relieve the pain and spur us to take on spur us on to take revenge. The Council of Elders. Message from the Council of Elders. The war between the Nordlings and the Black Ones is getting bloodier. For the sons and daughters of the Isle, this is good news. We shall watch them slaughter each other. The Council's decided that our clan will side with none of them. But the raids will be directed mainly to the south, towards Nilfgaardian shores. Council of Elders. Warning. Horder, son of Calver, was caught taking the guardians alive for ransom. I gave him 50 lashes myself. The same punishment awaits all who try the same. The black dogs are to be put down on the battlefield. Even if they surrender and promise riches, we take no prisoners. Eldark. Volbark's missing. My 14-year-old son Volbark hasn't returned home for 10 days. I fear he enlisted for a raid against the black ones despite my prohibition. If anyone knows what happened to him, let me know. Contract. Stolen Horn. I, Holger Blackhand, do hereby announce the following. The warriors who brought shame on themselves and their line at the Battle of Sodden Fields have shown that the punishment I meted out to them was far too lenient. Before departing, a skellig 
They stole the horn of my ancestors from my hall. I've entrusted the task of retrieving to my steward, Matthews. Whoever brings him the horn will taste my generosity. Whoever helps the cowards and thieves who took it will taste my wrath. Oh, wait. All right. So we have a new... Come on. All right. We cleared it out. Let's keep going up to the fast travel, guys. I'll see you in a moment. All right. Here we are at the city of Svorlag. Is it Svorlag? Hold on. Let's take a look. Is it Svorlag? What is this place? Svorlag. I am awesome. All right. So we're going to head up towards Ceres and talk to her. I'll see you in a moment. All right, it's the Great Hall, guys. Let's go inside, take care of things. Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek of the Honorable Clan Brockfar. Greetings, wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing, watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. That caught a turn. Y'all must have dreamt one of them as strong as he looks. All right, let's look around. See if we. Oh, I guess we just had to walk. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. Ron Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. He's got her. I see something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Ah! Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh... I don't know. Ask around. Great. Great. He has great sarcasm. Alright. Let's go through here. Follow. Ooh, hey. Is there anything of interest? No, I'm not going to rip anything off, so we'll just keep going. Alright, folks. I'll see you at that at the map things. Targets. Oh wait, here we come. I lied. We're coming right up to it. Hey, Skellig woman. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler. Hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, yeah, you found her. Or near to. Last was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Berg Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Berg Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Thank you, lady. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Well, so... Up in there? Do I need to go up here? Okay, we'll talk to Butcher. Or it's all the ladies. No? Hankering for some trotters, eh? Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her a while. Take care. Well, my dad's off fighting the blast ones. Alright, we're just gonna keep going between people, guys. Oh, there's Brigathora. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are, then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. Did you say lovely girls? <laughs> I had to try. Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. 
Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face, if not for that bit of bone rot on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. <laughs> I had to ask, guys. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honourable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Pardon me, Hunter. Pardon me. All right, guys. I will see you when I get down there. All right, here we are. We're getting into the circle area to search. Running around randomly like a wild... Oh, wait. Okay, okay. We'll take care of this. All right, fire is good for the soul. Ooh, went up a level even. What a deal. Swarming like goals around the waist heap. I be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, I'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not Drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. I fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. Left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after or just admire the scenery? Just about our Jarl and his family. She say where she was headed? Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odelgrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Alright, so I guess we're going to go yonder on the hill, folks. Let's go take a look where it's at on the map. Can't be very far, though, can it? No, just straight up on the hill. Okay, I will see you folks there. All right, guys, here we go. It took a little while to get up here, but we climbed up the side of the cliff. Now we're looking for the young lady, which I'm not sure. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, I love the new colorblind help. That helps me a lot. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Uh oh key. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving forward, folks. Just follow those. Follow the blue foot. Oh, sh passed out. Got to get her out of here. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelric. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. Huh. 
Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udalric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udalric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? As long as I remember, folk have said Udalric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udalric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udalric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. Alright, let's go looking for where we need to go. Let's go inside and find it. So obviously I have a key to the basement, so it's got to be the basement. We're just going to go... Is there a... I'm not seeing anything in there, so we're going to just keep running around until we find it. Oh, hey, loot. Not that it's worth much. All right, let's go inside. I guess we actually have to go into the rooms because I probably shouldn't rely that that's not it. There we go. Empty room. Oh, wait, here we go. I found it, guys. Right here. All right, let's go in. Ooh, wait, use, use, use. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. So let's go... I think if we go to Yurden, that'll help. That makes sense. Ooh. Brokvar. Oh, is that it? Oh, here we go. What is this about? Hey, him. Okay, back up we go. So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something. Or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. Oh, interesting little backstory I never knew. I really should read the novels here. 
All right, here we go, guys. We're there now. We're there. We got there. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater. Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Okay, guys. We are way past our normal filming time, so I'm probably going to wrap it up here. We will finish up this quest next time. And until then, take care.